in South Africa, vervet monkeys often come into conflict with humans, which inevitably results in injuries, orphans, and outcasts. The Bambalela Vervet Monkey Rehabilitation Center was established to pick up the pieces, rescuing, rehabilitating, and releasing as many monkeys as they can. But for some vervets, going back to the wild isn't an option. So, manager Belinda Langlois has an area set up as a retirement home for old boys. This is our golden old enclosure. This is where all our sanctuary monkeys are in, which are not able to be going back to freedom. Many of these males were kept as pets and had their canines removed to stop them from biting. Monkeys do not make good pets, and people only found out that in a later stage. They've lost their natural fear of humans, so these old vervets would soon run into trouble outside the sanctuary. Right now, everything's calm in the retirement home, but that's about to change. Booba, the old boy's caretaker for 10 years, is here to dish out their vitamins. The gummy treats always get them excited. Okay. Go. Even in captivity, vervet troops have a social hierarchy. The more dominant a male is, the less likely he is to share. There's always some fighting happening. They are very vocal animals. The one screaming, that's just him basically saying, back off. There's one monkey here who thinks all treats belong to him, Rambo. Rambo is the dominant male, so of course he's going to fight anybody off. Whenever anybody does anything he doesn't like, he'll give them either a slap or a nip on the bum. After the excitement, the monkeys try to ease the tension in the usual ways. With grooming, snacking, and stroking their cat. Nothing is better for calming jangled nerves. I haven't really seen that before with cat in an enclosure. The cat loves it because he's being in heaven, I guess. He feels like a king there laying, being groomed. It's well documented that stroking cats helps reduce human stress levels. But this isn't a monkey calming experiment contrived by the sanctuary. It's something the animals initiated all by themselves. These unnamed and unowned cats were free roaming ferals that lived around the sanctuary. One day, the three cats, they were kittens still. They decided to just join their golden oldies cage and moved straight in there with the 12 monkeys. As kittens, they climbed into the enclosure through underground drainage holes. Each time they were removed, they snuck back in. Honestly, I don't know why a cat would prefer be living in a cage than being able to live free outside. That was totally their decision. The monkeys welcomed their visitors, and the cats seemed to relish the attention. They would literally go and rub themselves against the monkey, or the monkey will sit and groom the cat. The whole troop has taken to the cats, 